Okay, now we're going to focus our attention on solving logarithmic equations. You'll notice each of these equations has a logarithmic expression in it. And the methods that we use to solve these equations are a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in exponential form, and then we'll be easily able to solve them. But one important note that I should make is that logarithmic expressions are defined only for logarithms of positive real numbers. So you always have to check your answer when you're doing these solution, finding the solutions. You might get extra solutions that when you actually plug them in don't work because they're negative. So it's always important to be taking the log of a positive number and you'll see as we work on these examples. So here we have a log equation and you'll remember that the log is the exponent. So when we point and we read this out, we say the log is the exponent. We're pointing to the exponent now. The base is 5. So we have 5 cubed equals our x. And that's going to be give us x is 125 because that's what 5 cubed is. Here the base is e. The log is the exponent, so I'm going to put the 3 on the base like that, and what's left is the x. And we just need to calculate this on our calculator, and we get that x is equal to e cubed, which is 20.09. Here, same thing, our base is 2, and we go the log is the exponent. So my exponent is 5, and that is equal to x plus 50. So now I can solve this. 2 to the 5th power is 32. So in order to solve this, I need to subtract 50 from both sides to get x by itself. And when I subtract 50 from 32, that gives me negative 18. That's my x. But look here. I've got to check my answer. x equals negative 18. When I plug it in, negative 18 plus 50 is going to give me the 32. And, of course, when you're looking at this log base 2 of 32, you ask yourself, what uh, power on 2 gives me 32? And, of course, that's 5. So the, we verified our answer here. But notice we do have to plug it in because we want to make sure that we're not going to get a negative inside the log like that. Finally, we're going to be isolating the x here and we're going to put this in exponential form but I need to put that 6 over with the 30 so I'm going to divide both sides here by 6 and that's going to give me the natural log of 2x equals 5. Now putting it in exponential form I have e to the fifth power is 2x. I divide both sides by 2 and I have x equal to e to the fifth power over 2. Plugging that into my calculator, I get 74.21. And you'll see that um, this is positive. If I plug this in here, I'm going to multiply it by positive 2, which is still positive. So this is going to work when I plug that back in.